here, I'm going to drop weight to here, hip in, and this just piles up. It's like a hook, but it's actually straight. You've just altered your own direction of travel towards his body. And if this time, when you hit him, if he doesn't go back, he'll tend to double this way here. Natural for the elbow or for slaps to hit. Okay, what we're going to do now is the back slap. Over the years, I've found it probably one of the most useful techniques I've got in the armory of delivering impact. When you've got somebody in front of you, your options are fairly clear. You know what you're going to do, you're familiar with it. Quite often, however, we get blindsided. We find ourselves in social situations as a bar where we know that we're getting aggravation from the side. Again, to try and face the threat, particularly if you have two people, if I have somebody here I'm having problems with, and all of a sudden, peripherally, he comes up, I know full well, and we've demonstrated this on one of the previous Pavement Arena tapes, if I turn this way to deal with him, he's going to be on me like a rash. If I go to deal with this guy, he's going to be on me. So what I have to do is keep my concentration here, but take this guy out. Back slaps are the way to do it, and really, it's a reverse of what we've been doing. We're taking the hip in, again as the door hinge, but it's now it's like the gold stroke. The recoil is on the reverse of the shoulder. I disguise it again through talking this way, and we let gravity do a lot of the work. Now in this case, with the air, I'm going to have to look, whereas normally I wouldn't. I know where he is, and I'd take this all the way down across the face.